All right, let's make some measurements. So I have hooked up to my uh, dummy load that I built. And so it's outputting 12.16 volts and 12.126 volts. And we can adjust that. That's what that resistor is there. Remember this adjusts next to that TL431. So we can, we can adjust that a bit. Oh, there we go, went too far. Yeah, that's pretty good. 12.008, so it's, uh, it's now 12 volts with uh, no load on it. So let's put a little bit of load on it. Let's put 100 milliamps. There's 100 milliamps. Looks like it's holding really good. Let's do 200 milliamps. So this is the load that we're applying. We're uh, creating a 200 uh, milliamp load. So it's pulling 200 milliamps out of the um, supply and it's measuring the voltage that's still there and it's still doing good. Let's go up to half an amp. Let's see what happens at half an amp. Now remember this thing is rated at one and a quarter amps. So we'll see if that is true or not. Getting close here. So there's uh, there's half an amp, still doing good. And let's go up to three quarters of an amp. It's looking good. Let's go up to the full amp. There we go, one amp. And 11.973. Uh, now some of that might be in this wire, might be dropping in the wire, but uh, yeah, it's doing really, really good. So I'd say this is a pretty good device. Let's take it up to the, uh, let's take it up to the rated, rated uh, amperage. It says it's good for a one and a quarter. And there's one and a quarter. So yeah, very good. All right. So what, what, I, what I want to do is I want to show you um, the uh, pulse width modulation as we increase the uh, amperage. We should see the waveform change. Um, as we increase the amperage, it needs more and more uh, current. So uh, when we start out, the, the, the pulse width is going to be very small. It's not going to need much input. And then as we apply load, it's, the pulse width should get wider and wider and wider and output uh, more and more so we can, uh, or maybe it's frequency, pulse, pulse frequency modulation. We'll have to find out. Okay, I think you can see everything on this one shot here. Uh, that'll be good. So we have the uh, volts and amps, and then we have the signal uh, that's pulsing. And if I increase the current a little bit, you can see that um, the, if you look at the negative going edge there, as I increase the current, the edge gets wider and wider and wider. So it's pulse width modulation, okay? We're changing the pulse width. And as we go from, uh, say this is a quarter of an amp, and this is uh, half an amp, you can see it's getting wider and wider. So that's freaking great. Now the one thing this uh, chip has in it is as we go down and we get to a very low current, it shifts gears into a power saving mode. Uh, so I've read that in the data sheet. So it's a, it's a clever chip. So if it doesn't need anything, it kind of goes into a low, uh, kind of a, uh, just a, uh, kind of a trickle charge type of thing, right? It's just, it's keeping it going, but it's not really supplying any current. So it's, it's not modulating as fast. And then once it needs something, it goes into its normal mode. So let's go up here. We were at a half an amp. Let's go up here to an amp. Here we are at one amp. And you can see we have about a, almost a 50% duty cycle. If I do a, uh, I'm going to be in the way of the camera here. Let me, let me step in front of the camera. Sorry. Um, let me do a one shot here so you can see the clean signal. Um, and let me go back to running mode. There we go. And then uh, let's go down to uh, here's. About 700 milliamps. We'll do a single shot. There's the clean waveform. Yeah. Very, very cool. I like it. Uh, so it does as uh, as expected, and uh, I think that'll be interesting. Let me move the camera just to give you one close up, just in case you'd like to see it. Okay, a little bit closer. Uh, let's go single shot. 
and there's that waveform. And let's uh, go up to, um, that's at 700 milliamps. Let's go down to, uh, this is 200 milliamps. That's what the 200 milliamp signal looks like. And we'll go into that uh, trickle charge mode kind of thing. <laughs> the tr trickle. Let's see, let's change the, let's change the X so we can see the whole wave. Oh, see, even even misses some pulses, so I don't need to do anything there. Um, yeah, that's really clever. Let's zoom out even a little bit further. Yeah, it's just going to miss some sometimes. So, so I don't need to be doing much. Yeah, that's nice, nice design. And then, uh, and then when we, when we actually come up here to. Here's uh, 200 milliamps again. It says, ah, oh, I need to be doing something. And so it's changing that pulse, pulse repetition. Let's see here, that's good. Let's get one, one cycle in, there we go. Yeah, so uh, I hope that's uh, explanatory now of what uh, switch mode power supplies do and uh, hope it helps people out.